And welcome back inside the Greensboro Coliseum. UNCG out in front of the Citadel at the break, 38 to 29. And we're lucky enough to be joined by Cody Ellis, the interim head baseball coach here at UNCG. And Cody, appreciate you you stopping by. And I know you're you're getting excited. Almost time for for practice to start up and everything. What's this time of year like for you as you as you build up the anticipation for putting this team together? Yeah, no, thank you for having me on. And um, no, it's been it's been great. So we started up last week. Boys got back in town on Sunday. Uh, started up on Monday, and uh, we've been getting after it five days a week uh, for about 30, 45 minutes. We're only allowed to be in four hours right now, but uh, the energy and the effort has been phenomenal since we've been back. So they're they're excited, ready to start team practice next Friday. Yeah, you know, it almost seems like whenever the first cold spell comes into town, then you know, hey, baseball yeah, season must be right. <laughs> must be coming around the corner. Um, you released the schedule. Uh, the schedule came out today, I, I think. Uh, got a lot of. Power Five, a lot of a very challenging schedule, but you start off with a nice with a nice home stand as well. What does that What does that mean for you know you to have the group here at home for those first couple of games? Yeah, no, I think it's great, especially if we get some get some guys coming into town and, and being able to be in front of our home fans. Guys get to sleep in their own bed, so I think it's always uh, just a little different factor when, when you play at home where you're comfortable with. And then obviously we get on the road. Uh, we go to Clemson, which they're you know top ten team in the country preseason yeah. ranked, and then we go down to South Florida. So I think it'll be a good as far as being tested regionally, both nationally, as far as, um, you know, competition, and then the atmospheres that we get to play in just kind of sets us up for our conference. Right, to get you ready for league play, but a lot, what is it? Yeah, 11 straight games to start off the schedule. Yeah. That's 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 pretty neat. Um, there's been a lot of improvements that have been done to the baseball facility as, as well. Talk a little bit about those and what it, what it means to have that kind of su support. Yeah, I think, I mean, just the support staff here with athletic director, you know, Ryan Mack and just uh, really putting a lot of emphasis in, into the facilities, um, you know, for baseball. And so we got an all new padded wall going around the going around the field and it really just ties all together. It makes it look like a real stadium now instead of just having the fencing. And then, you know, we've redone, uh, revamped and renovated our field house. We got all new carpet in there, all new furniture. Uh, we got a wall of fame going down. You know, to our locker room, we got our big leaguers on the left side that we're improving, and then we're redoing the locker room this summer. So just a ton of great things going on at the University of Baseball. Well, and a, and a great way for folks to give back to the first pitch dinner is coming up on on February second. What what is that dinner all about in terms of supporting the the baseball program? Yeah, that's our biggest fundraiser, and we've had a you know a tremendous amount of support here in the last couple of years. Uh, last year was our best year. We raised eighty thousand dollars, and just to, for people to give back and. You know, our players do a great job serving the community, and so for people in the community and their families to give back to their program to help support, uh, you know, their loved ones is just awesome. So it's, uh, you know, February 2nd, we get to, uh, we have a ton of auction items, so it's online, and uh, just appreciate you guys if you get on there and, and uh, bid on some items. And you don't have to be in attendance to win, but we got a ton of memorabilia. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it should, should be another, another, great, uh, another great night. Uh, final question before I let you go. I know you're putting this team together now. What can Spartan fans look forward to from this group? And then there are a couple of guys which you're like, hey, they've got some, got some potential. Or if you don't want to put their name out, I won't. Yeah. You don't have to right now. But what should we look forward to this year? Yeah, you know, we're going to have a, a, a very fast team. We're going to play wide open. We're going to play very hard. And it's going to be uh, an electric atmosphere that we're going to be able to play in. And then for the couple guys, the, guy, the, uh, the people got to come see us. They got to come <laughs> see who their favorite fan, who their favorite player is. <laughs> There's always a couple that stick out, That's right? right? Cody Ellis, interim head Thank baseball so coach at UNCG. Appreciate you coming by. And don't forget, February 2nd, the first pitch dinner. A uh, great way to support UNCG baseball. We, we are at the half here inside the Greensboro Coliseum, UNCG out in front.